Today, meantime, marks the start of Black History Month, and it comes at a time when the issues around racism and racial inequality have been regularly dominating the headlines. Noel Phillips has been speaking to the protesters who launched the UK's very own civil rights movement nearly 60 years ago. Britain in the 1960s. In 1963, black person, men in particular, were not allowed to drive these buses. 57 years ago, 92-year-old Roy Hackett, along with a small group of young black men, led a boycott of buses in Bristol after a local company banned black people from working on their transport network. At the time, the Bristol Omnibus Company argued that white people might stop using the buses if black men were driving them. It's what led Roy, who met a young man crying outside the bus garage in April 1963, to change the course of history. And I said, why are you crying? He showed me the advert. So I said, all right, let's go up to the... Uh, I told his hand and go up. I said, um, who's in charge? And a lady came out and I said, this is what you put out. You'd, why didn't you put white only? He said, why? I said, because he just come in from here and you told him that you're not going to teach him to drive because you don't want no black drivers. They've come to seek work in Britain. In the 1950s and 60s, men and women from the West Indies travelled to Britain, many of them like Roy. He left Jamaica in 1952. It's difficult for him to relive the abuse he experienced back then, but he was determined to change things, and he did. After months of protesting, the bus company lifted their racist ban, and by 1965, Harold Wilson's government introduced the first ever Race Relations Act. When they introduced it, I think I was in heaven, honestly. I called Owen on the phone. I said, Owen, our dreams come true. The peaceful protests on these streets nearly 60 years ago proved to be a watershed moment. It was the start of the UK's very own civil rights movement. The bus company at the time had no choice but to lift their ban on employing black people. And on that very same day, the man who inspired the boycott was making an historic speech. We were listening to the great Martin Luther King and his speech about I have a dream and the two things coinciding in the same day. And it was magnificent. It was a milestone. It remains an unforgettable moment for 81-year-old Barbara. Like Roy, she took to the streets more than half a century ago. What you did has directly led to a change in history for black people. It, it has, yes, it has, because it paved the way. Bristol was one of the biggest places where slavery was concerned. And, you know, you've still got it in your face in 2020. Many in the city have drawn comparisons between the toppling of the slave trader Edward Colston and the civil rights movement of 1963. But will 2020 be the year that changes black history? I feel like we'll look back at 2020 and think, yeah, that was a year like where a lot of things happened. But I don't necessarily think that things are going to change. Um, I'm not really confident about it. People need to change their attitude amongst people. Race needs to change their attitude amongst race. Roy's act of defiance is a historic chapter in black British history. His activism has paved the way for generations. And in his home city, his presence looms large. No Phillips, Sky News, Bristol. And for the first day of Black History Month, we're launching.